The first thing we want to do is we want to input this equation under y equals here in the upper left hand corner. So y equals, and you can see I've entered it here already, 3x cubed minus 2x plus 1. Then we're going to go over here to the upper right hand corner where it says graph. Okay, press graph. And let's go ahead and see what that graph looks like. Okay, so that's pretty good, but let's see if we can zoom in a little bit closer. So I'm going to hit the zoom key here in the middle. Zoom in, okay, enter, and then press enter one more time. Okay, so it resizes the window, so we've got a little bit better uh, look at the graph here. So now what we're interested in with the relative maximum and the relative minimum is where the graph bends. So you see this top of the hill here on the left? So this point right here where it bends, that's the highest point relative to the points on either side of it. So where that graph changes direction, that's going to be the high point. Now over here in the valley to the right, this is the relative minimum. So this is the lowest point relative to the points on either side of it. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and find the coordinates of the relative maximum. Go over here to uh, second, hit your second key here on the left, second, calculate, which is right above trace. And then what you want to do is you want to select maximum number four, enter. Now you see here it's how it says left bound over here in the lower left hand corner. So what it wants you to do is you can use these left and right arrow keys. You want to arrow a little bit to the left of that high point and press enter, okay, in the lower right hand corner of your calculator. And then it says right bound now, so you wanna go arrow a little bit to the right of that high point, okay. And then again, press enter. And then you see how it says guess, so you wanna hit enter one more time, and it's gonna find that highest point in between those two points that you selected there, okay. So what we want now are the coordinates, and you can see that's gonna be negative 0.47 comma 1.6. I'll just write that down here, so negative uh, let's see, negative 0.47 comma 1.6. So that's our relative max. Now if we want to find the relative minimum, it's the same process. You go to second, calculate, but now you want to select minimum, okay, enter. And again, see how it says left bound down here in the lower left hand corner? So what you want to do is you want to arrow just a little bit to the left of that low point. Okay, so enter, and then you want to arrow just a little bit to the right okay, of that low point, enter, and then you see how it says guess, you hit enter one more time, and there you go, 